After having been trapped in the house for the past few weeks, I felt like it was time for a little bit of retail therapy. So, I bought myself a new camera. Come with me as I explore its capabilities. Welcome to Grant Takes Pictures. I'm Grant, and I take pictures. So the new camera that I got is this Lego Image Master Mark I. It uh, is a rangefinder type camera. You look right through here um, and uh, you see out the other side. You don't see through the lens like you do with a, a DSLR, um, but uh, you know, or a mirrorless, I guess. So this is a little bit of a you know, old fashioned camera, but um, they're popular, uh, there's a number of other makers that make cameras like this one, uh, Leica being um, the most uh, high-end, but I believe uh, Olympus and Fuji also have similar rangefinder type cameras. Um, however, uh, unlike most other rangefinders, this uh, does have a removable lens. I only got the kit lens with it, but um, you know, hopefully I can pick up some other lenses uh, in the not too distant future for it. So I'll just put that right back on there. It has a built-in flash, uh, on-body flash here off to the side. Other than that, it doesn't have too many other features. Uh, you just point and click for the most part. But let's see what sort of pictures it can take. So the first picture we're gonna try to get with my new uh, Lego Image Master Mark I is a uh, picture of my dog. It's right here, chewing on a ball. So, just line them up here. Make sure we're nicely in focus. We'll check that out once we get it back on the computer. I'm sure it came out just perfectly. So, uh, right over here in my backyard, we have some flowers. So, um, I'm gonna see how this does with uh, a little bit of macro type photography. Get up close. Uh, and zoomed in and just uh, see see how well it does. I don't know, let's get it on the computer and see how it turned out. So here we are, we've had a chance to get the images from our brand new camera onto the computer. And let me tell you, they are just beautiful. I've edited them just slightly, and first, uh, we'll take a look at the one here with uh, of the flower. And as you can see, the the drop off in the focus on this lens, the bouquet is beautiful. The center here is in perfect focus, while even the petals in the foreground are out of focus, and the the background and the base of the flower is out of focus as well, but that center part of the flower, the yellow and um, and the base of the leaves and the leaves, you know, just on the far side of the yellow center, those are all in just beautiful, gorgeous focus. That picture I'm very, very happy with. On the picture of the dog, I had a little bit of, trouble having it focus uh, directly on the eye of the dog. As you can see, the shoulder of the dog is well in focus, but the eye is just slightly out of focus. Really what we want is that, uh, that focus to be perfectly on the eye, to be able to get a reflection of the light um, coming just off the eye. And that's not quite happening here. But I think with a little bit of practice, we can make the you know, get the focus right where we want to. Uh, you know, one of the problems with a rangefinder camera is that you don't always know exactly where your focus point is and where, you know, what, uh, what is in the frame because you are not actually looking through the lens. But I think with a little bit of practice, we can figure out, you know, exactly where it's focusing and how to get it to focus where we want. But I wasn't, I wasn't thrilled with this image overall. I thought it was still a pretty good image and you can see, you know, see the dog, you know, very nicely. So 
overall, I'm I'm happy with this new purchase, and sometimes retail therapy really does help. So, if uh, if you are interested in getting yourself one of these, um, I have a description below on how to how to get one yourself. Um, and uh, you know, really, it's a it's a pretty nice camera. I think it'll when I'm not using it, it'll probably just be up here on the shelf behind me as uh, you know, some nice decoration because not only does it work well, it's just lovely. I mean, look at this thing. Isn't that a beautiful camera? I mean, I'm thrilled with it. So, if, uh, if you have enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed this camera review, hit that like button. Uh, I try to bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday. So uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button and uh, hopefully you will enjoy my future videos as well. But until next time, have a great day. You, sir, are very loud. <laughs>